Okay, I greet everyone this uh, early morning, this uh, 13 day for November 2022. I be from uh, Kevin Shomitang the second, son of Bambala. I come out this day for cry because uh, I day for year for no pity hand and he don't talk say if they no leave the family members where they be don't catch and go with them, he no go leave me for year. So he don't talk say if they leave the family members them today, he go also leave me for year. So I de use this medium for cry and for plead on the powers that be. Say may they facilitate the release the, the, the release of the family members so that uh, me too I feel be freed from here. I thank you very much. This is from Kevin Shomitan the second, the phone of Bambala. This is from Kevin Shomitan the second, the phone of a village with more than 35,000 people. This is from Kevin Shomitan the second, the president of the House of Chief for the Northwest region of Cameroon. This is from Kevin Shomitan the second, the pride of the people of Bambala. It is remaining just nine days for from Kevin Shomitan the second to clock one full year in the hands of General Nopiti. It is remaining just nine days for from Kevin Shomitan the second to clock 365 days in the hands of General Nopiti under terrible condition. And the government of Cameroon remained quiet. We are here this hour just to thank God that he is alive. For more than one year, for close to one year today, this is his first video. This is the first time he is sending the message out from captivity. Now that he is alive, now that we are hearing from him, now that we have seen him, and see his condition. What next? I saw the video very early in the morning. I posted it without any comment. Now it's time for us to talk. Because we have to stand up and fight for his freedom. Videos and many people have come on social media insulting the people of Bambala for abandoning their form. It is not something the people of Bambalan can do anything about it. I hope everybody hurts from him directly. The only condition, the only guarantee for his freedom is for the government of Cameroon to free the innocent people they took away from Bambala related to general no pity. That is the only condition. And that is the main topic that we have to talk about it. Why were they arrested? Were they helping General Nopiti in, 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 to fight the government of Cameroon? Or were they encouraging him? Or uh, were, they, were they the ones who asked him to carry gun? And all these questions are asked. The answer is no. No. They were not the one. They have not been encouraging him. They have not been contributing to help him. Fighting the government of Cameroon. The government of Cameroon took them in order to get General No Pity. And for more than one year today, they, were, they are unable to get General No Pity through the arrest of his family members. Why can you guys not release them? Why are different people paying for the crimes of other people? If General No Pity is a criminal, he is not out of Cameroon. He has been living in Cameroon for all this period. Yet, the government of Cameroon keep on pretending that they don't know his whereabouts. I want to ask the government of Cameroon, where were they 
on the 1st of October 2022, where General Nobiti was celebrating the independence of Ambazonia. Not in hiding, in public. If truly they are searching for General Nobiti and they are keeping his family members in order for, for them, in order for General Nobiti to come surrender to the government of Cameroon, where, where have they been? General Nobiti have been leaving Bambalan to many different villages, passing through the main route, where checkpoint, Yandans, police, military are there checking, yet they are unable. That you see, call yourself the government of Cameroon. It's every day on TV saying you have professional military, yet they are able to arrest somebody in their own territory for close to six years today. And you keep on arresting innocent people and pushing innocent people into trouble. What, what crime has the firm of Bambalan committed to be going through this terrible it, it, it condition? No crime. The government of Cameroon committed a crime. The government of Cameroon believed nobody committed a crime. But different people are paying for it. I don't, I don't know whether the government of Cameroon is trying to change the, the penal code of Cameroon. Where people have to be arrested, tortured, detained, sent to prison for crimes committed by their relatives. If so, the relatives of all the ministers who have been embezzling billions, who have been marginalizing people, have to pay for the crime. If so, the, the relatives of President Paul Bia have to pay for the crime he has committed for 40 years against the people of Cameroon. I'm here just for from Kevin Shamitan II. I'm here on behalf of the people of Bambala, that village, that we need our firm. He has committed no crime. The only crime he has committed is that he, he wants to prove that he is a patriotic Cameroonian. When the crisis started, he left his village for many years and decided that he would not go back to the village until when things will settle. Yet, the government of Cameroon keep on coming, enforcing them, telling them that everything is under normalcy. Everything is under control. And through the president of the National Assembly, they ask all the traditional rulers to go back home, that everything is okay. And from Kevin Shomitan by then, was the president of the House of Chief and decided to show example to all and he decided to go back home to celebrate Shata, to celebrate Shambanto, our cultural festival. And on the 7th of December 2021, he was taken away by more than 40 Ambazonia fighters without any military. No military was sent to help him or to, to secure the palace. No one. The government have also shown to the people of Bambala that some people are more valuable than others. I took the case of Regina Mundi. When she was taken away by Amazonia fighters, the military did not rest. They were searching for her every blessed day. And the Amazonian fighters were posting it on social media, warning the military that if they keep on in that aspect, searching and trying to rescue Regina Mundi, they will kill. We were all aware of that. But for close to one year today, we have not seen such video that the military of the Cameroon government attempt to rescue the fond of Bambala. That show negligence. That show that he has been abandoned, used and abandoned. You cannot use the people of Bambala. You cannot use the phone of Bambala and abandon him. We know he, he is alive now and we will fight for him. Release. 
the family of General Nobiti and go against General Nobiti. You know where he is. Go and get him. That is the message I'm sending out. Go get him. General Nobiti, General Nobiti is not hiding from the military. So go get him. He is not hiding from the government of Cameroon. So go get him. You cannot use his family. You cannot use innocent people to get somebody you call a criminal. 